Today we're gonna be chimps mode, except only with the ancient monkey, aka the monetary that you can infinitely upgrade to either add more projectile slash weapons, more abilities, or making your upgrade stronger. So just as a refresher, the ancient monkey starts off as a 000 dark monkey, which definitely can't be round six, meaning I'll buy a weapon and holy crap, we just got Sada. And just like that, our early game is solved. How easy was that? Let's try another weapon. Uh, I'm definitely not passing up the wall fire. Especially not in this intersection. Now, the only problem with, uh, soloing with the Ancient Monkey is, you know, the challenge I'm trying, is that if I don't go for a village, aka I'm trying for the 1TC, then all of these weapons here should ideally see camo so that they work on DDTs. That's probably my biggest concern late game. So I think the game plan here is that we should just try to build everything right now for that late game, just to make sure we're good. So even Double Shot, for example, even though we don't- that doesn't have light popping. Eventually, I think there is an ability that gives you a Mib. So maybe we get lucky with that. Anyways, you might be wondering right now, Isab, this is too easy. You're playing Cubism Chips. Well, here's the catch. With the- with the, with this mod, if you retry the round at all, at any point in the game, you, all the upgrades reset. Meaning, this actually has to be a Black Border run. No resorts what, what, whatsoever, which increase the stakes by a lot. And also makes beating chimps a lot more difficult. Regardless, blame Sada for how easy this early game is. Let's spend on a new weapon. Again, usually what you, the meta here, at least what I think is the meta, just spam weapons as long as you're doing good. No camo on either of these three. But spam them until you can't no more, and you start struggling, and then you make all your current weapons stronger. Because this isn't this does not apply to what means you buy in the future. Uh, anyways. No camo still, but we gotta take that Ring of Fire. We are so good against any non-camos. And combined with the Wall of Fire, this... This Ancient Monkey looks really, uh, really interesting. We should basically just go all in with the Fire upgrades at this point. Just to fit this theme. Anyways... I mean, yeah. Here's Gwendolyn. More Fire. The cool thing too is that the Ring of Fire, like, has the same range as this Ancient Monkey, so it's much bigger than usually what a Ring of Fire would be. Meaning, I think we should go for... Uh, Range upgrades whenever the opportunity arises. How about for now, since we're doing so well, more weapons? Uh, even though it's $2,000. Uh, and crap, do I take Sentry Expert? It doesn't see camo, but the other two the, the other two do. You know what, I think I'll just do Psy. Sorry guys, I had to pass up on the uh, the rarer card. Trust me, it's for the better. I probably should just get one weapon though, just to make sure we're good against round 40. And for that, while there's no doubt about it, I would go for the rare for the 4 damage boost and the range. So let's see. I'm pretty sure, though, the Ring of Fire didn't actually get increased range. Maybe it only applies again retroactively. Here's how the mob is. Not even a problem with the 4 damage. If I had to say, definitely one of the luckier early games I've had with the Ancient Monkey, although that might just be also because it's cubism. But again, in case this Black Border isn't even a challenge, we can go deep into free play to see how long we can last in chimps. And hell, maybe if we have a chill enough of a time, we can even buy this 75k upgrade, although it's a lot to save up for. But it would last us an incredibly long time. For now, though, I don't think we're fine against round 51. The round 51 camos. I still only have Sada and, and Shuriken and Sai. I need... Oh, perfect. Spike balls. Spike balls. Now, the, I think how spike balls works is that, as you see, it only targets if a balloon's in range. And the spike will get eaten immediately because it doesn't, it doesn't shoot willy-nilly. It just does right at the entrance. It's kind of risky banking all this money going to 51. So let's spend a little bit. Sure, we'll do White Hot Spikes. Double dip on the Spike Factory. Why not? Oh, actually, wait a minute. Uh, is anyone seeing this? Why am I making money? Money in Chimps mode at that, when I was supposed to also get a White Hot Spike. Also, 51's fine. I just remembered, again, with a 4 damage buff. Sada literally swipes twice and it dies. And the Shurikens, too. They turn to green balloons. Well, shit. You know, I still want to keep the integrity of Chimps mode. I don't want to take turn it to CH MPS mode. So I think uh, what we can do is this. We can just take a look at the money here. That's main. And just never go below that amount for the rest of the game. Because I can't. It's not like I can, I can disable this 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 farm. It's kind of funny that it can bypass though. Even though. Although. Because I, I swear that Chimso is coded. Hard coded. As you can't make any income. But somehow the Ancient Monkey finds a way. Uh, I'm going to keep buying weapons for camo. No camo. But we, we can keep the fiery theme. Technically a fiery theme applies to spike balls too. Because it technically is uh, uh, an upgrade to the uh, White Hot Spike upgrade. And wait a minute, what? Camel lead? Oh, only my Spike Balls gets it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, uh, crap. 
That doesn't help. Uh, uh, uh. I think I'm dead. Unless I keep buying new weapons. Why not? No, this is give, this, this is a money giver. I need the overclock. Or Zeely, Zeely, Zeely. Okay, this is good. Is it too late, though? I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Alright, no, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Now, that was scary, but luckily, again, we saved a bunch of money so we could just panic upgrade at the end. And boy, did we come out like bandits at the end. We got the overclock, which is probably the best ability we can get. Also, why does our spike balls act differently now? Remember, I used to only shoot when I was in a range and also target first, but now it's like everywhere, which is better. It's actually better for us. It might have been one of the upgrades we got, because you see, now we have normal targeting. Uh, again, it was, I was kind of panicking. So I might have gotten something that has normal targeting, like a dartling gun. But anyways, uh, let's do laser blast, because that's the best we can get. And it will also avoid every white hot upgrade, because I'm pretty sure... Why not actually means banana farm? Because I still have not seen any white hot so far. And also, funnily enough, this might be one of the times where uh, laser blast is actually not bad. Except for the fact that I can't hit, well, leads. I'm talking about the damage of it, though, because if we buy stronger weapons, which I guess I'll do. It's been a while. Unfortunately, all three commons, but I'll take the plus one damage and plus one pierce. Or actually, no, the range. No, I'll take the range, because we already got a lot of damage with the plus four earlier. I think 35% is a big, big deal. And you know what? I think we'll go for an ability next, because I really want either the dark shift or a mib, so that I, I, I think all the weapons can see camo. But I could be wrong. Well, this is also a decent cons consolation prize. Carpet of Spikes for only $4,000? Sign me up. Well, there's our DT popping, guys. I'm pretty sure uh, just one Carpet six is all we need, right? Yeah, this is a camo or a lead popping, too. 250. Maybe I wouldn't say guaranteed win. Maybe 95 has too many DTs. But by then, again, we'll have like plenty of money to work with, so I don't think we should be worried at all. As broken as it might be, oh, also crap. Uh, lots of cameras this round. I'll just carpet a spike. Good thing I had that, otherwise I might have been in trouble. But as I was saying, I think maybe now it's time we save up for the 75k upgrade. The Advanced Ancient Monkey. As you see, this is everything it gets. In case you haven't seen before, TLDR, it's just incredibly broken and would definitely guarantee a win because it technically resets the cost of all our weapons. But it also might ruin competitive integrity by being too good. Because after all, if you know me, I always love trying to go for a challenge. And it's not quite challenging if I just buy that upgrade and simply breeze through 200 rounds, if you know what I mean, right? So you know what? We'll get less spicy legendaries this way, but I think I'll I'll opt to play the fair route. So what should we do now? Wait, maybe creator prediction was mixed with white on spike. Let me just try and see. No, I think it actually is just creator production. So there's no way to get a white hot spike. All right then. I mean, even without the 75k upgrade, I bet we could be chimps mode, just given how we're doing right now. So 73k for a double shot, sure. Just more and more weapons, please, while we're chilling. Actually, we're kind of falling behind without abilities right now, but we'll do that later. I'll take a red hot ring. I'll spend 8k on. Well, this is tough. Ice skulls doesn't really give us. Well, I'll just get it anyways. But it doesn't really give us much mob damage. Especially since we're beating Cerams like way too quickly for it to really do much. But I guess it could be a nice support option if Cerams do leak. I will be good. Let's just go into round 90 here. First off, let me just see if I don't use Carpet Spike. How we doing? Do Spike Balls have enough damage? Answer it. Yeah, but you definitely shouldn't rely on it. That's for sure. We do beat this without Carpet Spikes. But way too sketch. Let's try a new ability. We've gotten pretty lucky with it too so far. And uh, I think we also got lucky with this one. Because this is our guaranteed uh, around 100 kill. Not to mention it could also help deal with a lot of clutter in rounds like 98 or even 92. Just one shotting the insides of the bad. Or the ZMG so that there's less to clean up for uh, our spike factory and every other projectile. Let's spend 9k on Sticky Bomb. Yep. This is DD popping. 10k now. There is our first legendary folks. Spiked Mines. Does it behave the same way as... Uh, the spike balls? No. You see, I bought it this time, and now it targets first. And also, up. Oh, this does not work. Off the carpet. It doesn't look like I'm actually guaranteed to beat 95 here. So let's do one more weapon, and then I'll start upgrading because it's so far behind. Uh, I guess I don't have much of a choice here. Century expert. But now we should definitely full focus because I'm not sure one carpet spike is enough. Uh, here we go. Just a bunch of comments here, but I'll have to take the I think damage and range boost. Range is nice to have. Shall we do 2.7k on a new weapon? Yes. Uh, three comments again. 
And this time, I will probably take the very small attack speed bonus. Like, 4 or 5%. I did pass up my range, though, which would have allowed me to see... I would say almost full map range. But okay, no money left over after this round, hopefully. Or not a lot, at least. 4 damage on this one. And range. Uh, more weapons. We going all in here, folks. We got another 4 damage, but I'll take the one with damage, pierce, and attack speed. And range. Now, talk about full map range. I think we're good to hold on to the 30k here. And I'll, again, panic drop if something's about to leak. But I feel like all those upgrades now should be enough, right? Especially since we can just beat DTs normally without the carpet. Uh, I'll probably use it, I'd say, wait, halfway. We can beat mobs just fine, which is huge. Because now all the spike damage can go on those DTs. And that was easy. But easy only because of those stronger weapons that we bought. That's all. Let's spend 10, 12k now on... I mean, I guess we can always do double sticky bomb. I'm not ever worried for this round, honestly. Look at that damage go. Again, those laser blasts are putting in work. I tell ya. We are almost certainly going past round 100 at this point, so definitely stay tuned to see, well, how far we'll eventually survive. And now for round 100, spam Elim. Re-overclock. Spam Elim again. And there it is. There it is. Every single pop on the Ancient Monkey, 1TC. And now, more weapons. And actually, I need more camo. Because there's definitely a lot of fortified DT rounds past round 100 that this carpet of spikes cannot keep up. Sadly, I didn't get much good here. I'll probably just do air burst. Sure. Just friendly reminder, I still have to stay above 15k. So I actually only have 25k to work with. And let's win 8k now. Damn, Elite Sniper. Unlucky. 8k down the drain just like that. Well, I'll try to get another new weapon. We got unlucky with this one. But judging by how quickly these rounds are ramping up in difficulty, I'm gonna need some weapons here. So we'll spend 5k. And I think I got what I wanted. Well, we don't really need more range with this epic, but the pierce is good because we have a lot of spike factories. So plus 5 pierce on that is actually a pretty nice damage bonus. On top of the carpet spike, I think it works on the carpet spike, right? If it doesn't, I'll be forever set because I need it for 106. Also, let me just test out of curiosity. I'd assume this works, right? Yeah. If it worked on, uh, well, the thing, then it should work on this thing. And uh, I'm just delaying this now. I'm probably dead, aren't I? A uh, new weapon? Oh, shit. XXXL trap? Exotic? But I don't have D camo. This is the problem. So uh, m all these efforts, I might die. All right. I'll, I might save the run just by dropping a village if I need to. And you know what? Village, village. I think it's too late. No, no. Game over. Right as we got the exotic big trap, I should have gotten the village a lot earlier just to save the run. But you see now, even if I retry last round, oh, this poor Dark Monkey is back to doing nothing. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm addicted to this mod, so I actually really want to see how badly I can get past that round. So what I did was I started an entirely new run just to see how we do, and in fact, we're actually worse this time. Because I guess we got very, very lucky in our, I don't know, DT RNG. Because this time, I'm dead to 95. Attempt number 3 this time is actually going pretty well. We now have two Spike Storms to get out of this jam. And in fact, we actually don't even need it. Because earlier on in the game, I actually got a Mib as one of my abilities. So now, I think we also have Elite Defender with this combo. That actually beats DTs now. This run is definitely the run, actually. Because I also got a an Epic. The 7 damage 3 pierce epic just a couple rounds earlier. So now I don't even need the carpet spikes, man. The lead defender and the overdrive attacks go hard. You notice this time, like, I barely have any range. Proof that range is unnecessary, folks. We also have two tech tears, so I'll use one of those to beat the giant clump. But this is a new PB on chimps. Wish I could have gotten it done the first time, but that's kind of the way she goes with the uh, dice roll. On the bright side, we don't have to do much math, uh, because we're not making excess money with banana farms or anything, so uh, let's spend. And that is tempting, guys, that BRF, just as I was talking about earlier, but I can't. In the spirit of chimps, um, okay, we got a MIB again. Now, again, I don't know if the MIB applies to upgrades you get after the fact, but if it doesn't, then that, that's still useful. That was absolutely still a worthwhile investment. Um, still have to use tech tier for that round. I think I'll do one more weapon. And I gotta take the balloon solver, man. That's one way to help us deal with group balloons. So, uh, great pull there. Even if it may be a little outskilled by free play here. 
And just to make sure we're good against 119, let's just buy one more weapon upgrade. I think this pierce and range boost will go a long way. Actually, no, screw, screw, screw pierce. I want attack speed. 10% attack speed on air projectile probably does more. Just a guess. So we'll use our carpets immediately. Just so we have it up, and this is definitely no issue. Easy. We hit the jackpot with this, guys. New weapon. Cluster, a new ability. Unfortunately, the Maelstrom gets outscaled, but that's fine. Sadly, we're making so little money from chimps, chimps at this rate that it's been like five rounds and I haven't been able to get any weapons or abilities. Could buy stronger weapons, but right now I don't need it, as you see. Still no, no tech tier or spike storm. And we still hold off these FDTs. Gotta love that MIB. Giving camo and lead popping to every projectile. And now we finally have enough for a new weapon. Hopefully it's good. I waited eight rounds for spike balls. Not great, but it could be worse. Now, at this point, I am struggling. I think we should probably uh, get stronger weapons. Uh, I definitely didn't need that spike balls earlier. What do I do for all these fortified zoom views here? I'll use tech tier to clean up a giant clump. That should help a little bit. And come on, give me a legendary. Just what the doctor ordered. This is a really quirky legendary. Only pierce. But luckily, we have spike factory, so that pierce is... Uh, is good. It's needed. Like, I think it works in carpet spikes. Let me just test. Well, you can't really tell, but I want to say it does work. If it works on projectiles, why doesn't it work on projectiles from abilities? Now, for another weapon, we have this rare, which I'm definitely taking. Two damage and three pierce. Can we get enough money this round for another weapon just before 138 comes in? Perfect. Four damage and five pierce just in time for uh, this fortified DT round. Much needed. Because I think now we can just fast forward it through. And really not have to worry, right? Nope. Easy. Now, do I have enough bad damage or F bad damage? I want to say so with the carpet spikes and the damage to pierce boost we gave it. If it worked. I can probably just test by using a carpet of spikes. Let's see. It did like 10, 12,000. Pretty solid. How about two carpets? Oh, we have. We definitely have enough. And that definitely did get boosted. GG. I finally scraped up enough money for a weapon upgrade. Uh, and unfortunately, this was a huge waste. 25 rounds between upgrades just for an air burst starts. Yikes. I'm not sure you all can vouch on me for this, but I definitely think pulling a new weapon is more exciting than pulling a new, uh, like, card for stats. Just because there's more variety in the towers we get. Uh, also, 150 is very, very close. Unfortunately, I do have to just upgrade stats if I want any chance of surviving. This epic will be great for the scaling in 151 and beyond. More stats. Gotta be real with you all, stat bonuses are OP. And now we have a 7 damage, just in time for whatever crap free play wants to throw away. I didn't expect to make it this far, like in Chimso, with no extra income to boot, but here we are. I guess this tower really becomes cost efficient when you stack the amount of projectiles you get with the amount of stat bonuses you're getting. Yet here we still have an unbalance of, uh, you know, uh, projectiles to uh, stat upgrades. I still need to spend a lot of stat upgrades to catch up the cost. Finally, I'm seeing some struggle, but man. We've just gotten stat bonuses the last 40 rounds or so. And I guess that's been enough to keep us alive enough. To possibly make it to around 200 of chimps. Enough stat bonuses, though. I haven't gotten ability in a long time. Unfortunately, this was another waste. Just judging by how far these bads are getting... We're not going to be 200, though, let alone even this round. Uh, there are six bads. I need my carpet up immediately. Otherwise, it's over for these uh, these last two. Okay. Now, two of them still pack a huge punch. So, uh, another round. Another day. Uh, the balloons are so tanky at this point, it feels like the tech here doesn't even do a thing. Does it even one-shot BFBs at this point? Probably not, looking at how, how that's doing. Yikes. Uh, very close. So very soon I can get another weapon. They're actually, or another weapon upgrade. They're actually more expensive than weapons now. All right. Um, I'll do damage and pierce. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna be enough to be an F bed, but I'll try my best. We got both carpets up immediately this round. Come on. Wait a minute. Carpets OP. How are we beating this so quickly? What? I guess it has to do with the fact that like the pierce and uh, um, damage attacks stack. So these carpets are actually probably doing. Hundreds of thousands. Well, we just breezed on past 200. Ain't no way. Okay, I think it's actually GG here. The F-Bad is hiding behind the other bads, and I used all my carpets. 
It's not coming up. Good run, man. 207 rounds. Wait. We might pop this, actually, but I don't think we can slow down. Because we don't have support. But that'll do. 316 million solo pops. My goodness. Well, I hope you enjoyed this very, very deep free play run. And once again, if you want to check out more videos of this mod, click here for the previous episodes I've done. Otherwise, stay tuned for more. See you next time.